All right, where are we going? Oh, well, out in New Hampshire, Dad, going on track, so see what happens. We just drove around all around looking for tracks, and we found these two first, actually, and decided these are the best ones to go on. Not the biggest bucks, but hopefully they bring us up on these ridges and we find another bigger buck track, but hopefully I can see something. I don't really care, you know, with Dad, if it's Spike on him, I'm going to start shooting, so. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I think but, we'll have fun today. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm eating a whoopie pie. Angie makes the best whoopie pies in the world, so. This is deer tracking food. Get a little energy. We've seen a bunch of tracks. You know, one road we wanted to get up, we couldn't get up, so. The guy in front of us, he chewed it all up, so I was like, eh, eh we don't need to do that. We're getting a buck track up here. He's not a big buck, but it was made last night. The uh, snow's all loose in it This from this morning, so he definitely came through this morning at some point. Uh, you can usually tell because if the track's frozen out or it is really defined as a track right now, you, you can tell it was yesterday or last night because it's cold out this morning. It's not going to be completely defined, and uh, it should be all kind of broken up, and you, know, you can see the track, but... Well, we'll go in here, we'll go study him up a little bit, and we're heading up on top of the mountain, which I like, and uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to go in the direction I wanted to go in anyway, so we're going to get on track, finish my whoopie pie. So here's our track. See, he kind of stepped out a little bit. Not a giant buck. Decent little track, but we made last night. We'll get tracking him, we're going to double team it, but... See if he brings us into some other deer, but that's pretty cool. Thanks, boy. Oh, we're on the track right now. Just came up to a spot where you can see where he's been feeding a lot, so it's a good sign. If he's feeding, he's gonna lay down. So. And he's heading uphill, so yeah. Definitely fit in there. Three on the beach nuts. Okay, so one of the things that we're keying in on when we're out tracking is you've some areas have acorns, some areas don't. So you really got to look at what the food sources are. In this area, we do have some acorns, but we've got a lot of beach nuts. And we just came into an area. And you can see the deer have all been through here. And beech nuts, let me see if I can find one. This is their husks right here. That's what they look like. Now, imagine a nut being in that. There's usually a beech nut in this. Um, and there's probably some right here. This is what they've been doing, digging them around. But you can see all the deer tracks. And you see a nice buck track coming in. And the other thing you want to look at is, so, come here. Let me show you something. So see this track right here, right? This track. So we usually check it, see how loose that is? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my boot print. So this is how you can tell if they're fresh. Take your boot, come out. Now you look at the difference. Now, this is a little bit watered out, but you can tell this is all loose, so that's fresher. But this is how you can tell when you wanna compare your tracks. Um, and that's something that we, we look for. And hopefully, hopefully, we're gonna get on a good buck and we're gonna see him up in here, but. You can see there's a lot of deer in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make circle, circle, bigger circles until we find them. And we're going to find the track that we want coming out. It's okay when the deer all congregate. A lot of people get discouraged. But what you got to do is you know your buck went in there. He's got to come out of there somewhere unless he went with a group. Most of the time these big bucks come in, they check for scent of a hot doe, and then they leave. So we're going to do just a big loop. And uh, we're just going to do a bigger loop, bigger loop, until we find the track we want may not be the freshest track that's okay it'll lead us to another track or it might lead us right to where the buck is so that's what we're gonna do explain what uphill downhill went uphill found all that feeding got into a bunch of deer kind of lost our track he kind of mixed in with that so we just made a loop and uh we went all the way up to the top of the mountain and now we found a really good buck track going down it down to this bottom away from where all the other deer went and then another just even fresher bigger buck came into it too so we, we know we got a couple bucks in front of us but they're going straight downhill so if we get them we have to call a helicopter or something to get him out because it's going to be rough <laughs> mm. 
what just happened boy so I, we literally just got done talking blew a couple grunts and i went up on this top because all the deer started going that way dad started going down a little bit we were trying to figure out where they went uh, i looked down and just as i looked down and see the deer boom dad shoots boom shoots again and yeah, I, got I, wa it. I watched him fall in my scope as I was about to shoot, so. Yeah, video tape going down, boy. Yeah. It's a big one. Is it a good one? Oh, yeah, it's a good one. This is what tracking. We went up in, sorted out the tracks. And this is what tracking's all about. I'm with my boy. He was laying in his bed, and we got him. I think. Oh, you got him. I watched him fall. Yep, right on my butt. <laughs> oh yeah, I see a deer right there. Let's see how it goes. Let's see where he's laying down. I see him. There he is. I got it on. That looks like a big buck to me. This is where he was laying. Right here. I am pumped. This is where he was laying. I shot from up there. Yeah, up there. there. Big old warrior buck. Big old seven point. We got him. Oh, yeah. Isn't that awesome? I can't believe this. I'm with my boy. I got a big buck. Let's get him up. Well, here he is. Ty, I'm going to let you explain what we did this morning. What did you learn this morning? Oh, we, uh, we found a couple of deer tracks, went down a bunch of roads, and this was actually one of the first tracks that we found. Decided to go up in on it. Uh, didn't really find anything else fresher, so went in, and uh, the buck track we went on went into a bunch of other deer. Uh, so dad's like, well, let's let's start making some loops find where he came out or where maybe a different buck came out Well, we didn't really find that so we went up on top of this ridge and uh, we found a doe track running and found an older buck track with it So dad's like, well, let's go see. Let's go see what's on that. So we started right down the hill and uh, As we got down to this edge, we got on this ridge looking down in here and uh, Dad's like hit your grunt call. We found a brand new fresh track in here, too. Oh, good buck. So I hit the grunt call a couple of times and I was kind of looking at the fresh tracks and I look down and I see the deer just as I see the deer, dad shoots him right in his bed. He jumps up, takes off and I was getting ready to follow up with him and he shot him and dropped him right in his track. So that was awesome. He didn't know that he got him though, but I watched it in my scope. So that was pretty cool. I couldn't see. I just, I looked down when you did the grunt call. What caught my attention was he turned his head. And that's one of the key things that I was telling him is whenever you get to those open ridges and stuff, stop for a few minutes, go out, you know, kind of watch them and do a few grunt calls. Because he could be right there laying around or walking and come walking right back out where you can shoot him. Um, and that's what happened. So he grunted and I'm standing there looking and all of a sudden looking, he turned his head and looked at me up on the hill. So I'm looking down, I'm like, man, that looks like a deer. Couldn't tell, turned my scope up and only got a four and a half power scope, 1.5 to four and a half power on my 35 whaling. And uh, I looked down in and I could see he had antlers and he was laying in his bed. So I pulled down on his front shoulder and let him have it. And he jumped up out of his bed and I fired again. And I didn't know if I got him or not because I lost sight of him. And my boy here was like, hey, dad, you got him. He's dropped right there. He only went like, I don't know, maybe 15 feet from his bed where I shot him. Beautiful buck, um, warrior buck, man. He's got a broken brow tine. He's got a broken main beam. Uh, beautiful deer though. Um, I don't know if he's going to go 200 pounds, but he'll go close, I bet. 
Uh, he's pretty worn out. Uh, but I ended up hitting him on both shots as he was running. That Whalen, I'm telling you, I love that gun. Uh, it was the first or uh, the second time I've actually brought it out this year. But being able to track with my son is unbelievable. We haven't had a lot of snow. This snow is two days old, but I don't care. And, you know, I try to explain to him the difference between uh, tracks when you're on snow. So even though you have snow and it's a few days old, it doesn't make a difference. You just get to find the freshest track. Um, Lane Bonoit used to tell me, he says, it doesn't matter what type of snow you have as long as you have snow. And uh, that's what we did. So we got a long drag. We had about 500 yards. Yeah. 500 yards to get him back to the truck. Uphill. And then uh, <laughs> we're going to go see if we can't get Ty. Now I'm on video patrol. I'm just going to videotape Ty. So we'll see what we see. Pretty, pretty good day. Oh, yeah. We are very blessed. Big buck in the back of the truck. Love it. Huh? Come on, get up here. Dying. I like this side of it. I get why you enjoyed that when I was dragging mine. <laughs> this is uh this is where we're headed. All the way up there. It's a lot heavier, thank you. I brought my pack. Huh? If I brought my pack, we would have had it. I know. It's not bad on the snow, but. You're heavier than we think. Yeah. Oh, boy, just... Is it? Yeah, it's a spike. You want him? Shoot him. Uh... Let me zoom in. You see him? Where is he? You see him? Oh yeah, I see him. You want him? I'm on him. Shoot again. You got him. What just happened? We're dragging dad's deer. I can't believe this. We're dragging dad's deer. It's right here. We're deciding which way to go. And I look down and I see a buck laying down there. Let's go down and check him out. Bunch of shells. I can't believe this. How did you see that deer? I don't know. That. Oh my god, we got a heck of a drag. He was in his bed too. Yep. How did you see him? You must have hit him on the first shot. Holy smokes. I knew it was a spike when I shot him, but to do this with Dad on the track. Yep, this one on video. I can't believe we're dragging your deer out. Now I look over and see this buck just laying here. What the heck? <laughs> the pumps are running today.
Oh, nice deer. Big deer. That is an eagle shot. Oh, man, we got some work ahead of us. Yeah, well, we're both tagged out now. <laughs> Let's get some work done. Yeah, that's gonna be a long day. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. He never got out of his bed. Nope. I can't believe you saw him laying there. I never saw him. Yeah. You're like, yeah, there's a deer laying there. Then I'm like, he's like, I, I think that's a deer. And he's like, grab your gun. So I grab my gun, I zoom in all the way to nine power. And I'm like, it's a spike. He goes, you gonna shoot him? I was like, I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, to do it with dad while we're dragging his out. Yeah, this is the coolest experience ever. It doesn't matter if it's a spike. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Absolutely crazy. Well, that's tracking. And to think, you shot your deer 150 yards in his bed on this same ridge, and this one's bedded right here too. Well, what a crazy morning in New Hampshire. So this year, uh, I've seen a couple of my other videos, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows by now I'm active duty military. Uh, this year, I just moved closer to home and I can actually hunt with my dad every weekend. Last year I was the boy who couldn't hunt, um, which for me is tough, but this year being able to hunt with dad has just been incredible. What an incredible year. And uh, today he said, let's meet up, let's go tracking. We got snow two days ago, so we went tracking. And after all the commentary on his buck, uh, we're dragging it out and we're talking normal. I mean, just dragging and uh, I had sat down because we had stopped and we were figuring out which point of the mountain we're gonna go up. And uh, I looked down, bedded on this ridge, what's this buck? And I'm like, Dad, I think that's a deer right there, bedded. And he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, he goes, grab your gun. So I grab my gun, I pick up, I'm like, it's a buck, it's a spike. And he goes, take him. I'm like, didn't need too much convincing on that one. You know, to double up with my dad on the snow, tracking in the north woods of New Hampshire, incredible. Um, so I put it on him, bang, he never moved. And I'm like, did I miss? He's like, shoot again, bang. And then he laid his head out and I knew I folded him right there. So never even got out of his bed and we got some work ahead of us. So we got to now get both deer to the top of the mountain and over it, but hey, it's all about hunting. I love it, can't get enough. That's two bucks today shot in their bed. Yep, less than 300 yards a pot on the same ridge. It's awesome. Pumped. All right, we got some work ahead of us. Oh yeah.